Hello, welcome to Grade One Music Theory Lesson Two. Lesson Two, we're talking about clefs. The first clef we'll be looking at is the treble clef. Clefs we put at the beginning of the music stuff. A clef is a symbol which identifies one note by name. We can work out all other notes from this note. The most common clef is the treble clef. And a treble clef looks like this. That's how a treble clef looks like. The treble clef tells us where on the music staff we should write the note G. Note G. We draw the treble clef so that the Kelly beat in the middle forms a sort of a circle around one line on the staff. A note written on this line is called G. This is how we put it on the stuff and this is how we draw a treble clef that's the kelly bit sometimes treble clef is called the g clef we call this the g clef since we know where the note g is we can work out all other positions of notes on the stuff Let's take a look at le uh, letter names. In music theory, we use letter names A to G. Always write these letters in capital letters. To identify the notes, please use capital letters. After G, the next note is A because the sequence starts again. G is on the line on the music staff. So the next note is A in a space. Let's look at our examples. We have treble clef and we have G on the line, A on the space. The next note will be B, which is on the line. We have G on the line, A on the space, B on the line. Here are all the lines and spaces of the music staff filled up. Treble clef, D space, E line, F space, G line, A space, B line, C on a space, D line, E on a space, F on a line, G space. You can try to remember the letter names of the notes on the lines by learning every for E, good for G, boy for B, deserves for D, football for F. Every good boy deserves football. E, G, B, D, F. Those are letter names on the treble clef. And these letter names we get on the line. E, G, B, D, F. And you can learn the notes in the spaces by memorizing the word face. F, A, C, E. F A C E F A C E face or you can make up your own sentence to help you remember these letter names the base clef we have already learned about our first clef which is a treble clef so for most low pitched music, where most of it is lower than middle C, we use the bass clef. The bass clef. That's what we use for low pitched music. The bass clef looks like this. The two dots of the bass clef are placed either side of the line where we can find the note F. So it's also known as the F clef. 
F clef. The bass clef is used by many low pitched instruments, such as the tuba, basson, and the double bass. It's also the default clef for the left hand in piano music and the bass voices. Below is an example for first F below C note. This is our F below the C note. And this is the bass clef. Let's take a look at the notes. We can work out other notes just like we did with the treble clef. Here are notes on the lines. G, B, D, F, A. G, B, D, F, A. Base left letter names on the line. We can try to remember letter names of these notes on the line using base left by learning them this way. Good for G, boys for B, deserves for D, food for F, always for A. Good boys deserves football. Good boys deserves food always. And here are the nodes in the spaces. Lines on the space, we can remember them using this. All cows eat grass. A C E G. A C E G. All cows eat grass. The note above B is middle C. It's useful to be able to write middle C in both clefs. We use a small line for it to sit on, just like we did in the treble clef. But in the bass clef, it is above the stave. It's above the stave. Remember that in the treble clef, middle C is below the stave. And this is how we do that. Base clef above, treble clef below. Thank you for watching and let's meet again.